Wait, I, I, I don't know enough it's about like Toph's lifestyle. No, I always tell myself I'm going to do that, and then I don't. That's yeah. the, I think that's the yeah. difference between us, Yeah. that he actually does it. That's why he's so consistent, man. That's he gets top so eight like every tournament. Yeah, he really is. He really is. It's, it's, the, it's the grind, man. It's the grind. All right. Yeah, and he's up on, OK. Oh, Marco looked like he was going for the uh, the Crouch Cancel Tech Chase. That's like a kind of a more new school thing. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, got to hit that tech. Make it make it hard for them, at least, you know? Yeah, for sure. For you sure. missed the tech on that that knockdown. It's very easy for Fox to just get an up smash, so. All right, he's got a tech chase situation here. Oh, reads it with a up wow. smash. That's not an easy tech chase to hit. Right. I always, I always get worried, though. The problem with doing that up smash this early in the set is that it tells SFAT that this is a read based Sheik. Right. He's and not going to be going for all the like the standard tech chases where you can get perfect zero to death. Right. I actually think it's better. So this is super meta, but I actually think it's better to, even if you have the read, it might be better to go for a grab there so it looks like you're reaction based. Interesting. It, it gives you, it gives SFAT intel. All okay. right. SFAT gets the, up, oh, probably looking for an up air. That, that, that's a, a tech skill mistake, I think. Yeah, that, that sounds right. Mm -hmm. Looking for the up air on the platform. Kind of mistiming it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. a raw grab actually working out. Gets oh, pushed no. off the platform so he doesn't get a second grab. Right. Oh, oh. Wow. And it doesn't KO. I'm equally surprised by that. That's fat here is the easy up smash. Yeah. And Marco, he's been kind of being bullied off the stage when he has to recover. Uh, he's, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a mix-up that she can do that's, you know, sort of makes it tricky. It's not very easy to do. You have to hit a fairly precise angle, but um, yeah, Marco has been unable to really get any footing as soon as he's off stage. As that just gets an easy edge guard. Yeah, and that's what you need to do against a character like Sheik, man. Like we're saying, the bread and butters are super good. Super good. Oh, that's not spike. Jeez. Yeah, S Fat all over Marco 64. Yeah. The tech chases from Sheik really help out a lot in a matchup like this. Even if you're playing against a really good player. Yeah. Being able to do that kind of stuff and just rack on percent and uh, take away momentum from from your opponent really oh. helps out a lot. Oh, so yeah. it's un it's unfortunate that we haven't seen like too many long strings from Marco. Yeah, it is incredibly important that he that he you know basically the Sheik has to punish the Fox harder than the Fox is punishing the Sheik. Yeah, because Fox is usually going to win neutral a little bit more. Right, and. Um, and it re that requires a lot of practice. The Sheik bread and butter, you know, on Fox is actually arguably the hardest bread and butter combo in the game because you have to reaction tech chase. Yeah. And, you know, falling short of that, you have to get a lot of sick reads. So the problem there is that SFAT is a, probably a better player than you. He's probably going to hit more reads than you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to be winning on all fronts, right? Yeah, winning on all fronts. And that's, that's the trouble is that, like, Margo needs to find some area, some aspect that he can edge SFAT out, and it so far it hasn't really it hasn't really come into hasn't really shown up. Yeah, even when he tried to like jab reset there in, in the tech chase situation, SFAT's just ready for it right. with the smash the up. Nice. Really, really solid back here. They're reading the air dodge, I think. Because mm -hmm. normally if you think they're gonna up you don't drop from ledge like that. Alright, so Marco here, yeah, SFAT's able to slide off and go to the ledge. The defensive options from SFAT are so good, not allowing Marco to combo, even if he was uh, able to do it. Like, even there, DIing out with a dash attack. Right. Alright, there's the easy forward air. Yeah. SFAT actually smartly tried to DI down and maybe tech the platform. It looked like it. That's Very that top nice. player stuff, where even, even at like 145, you're like, I should be dead, but maybe I have an opportunity here. You gotta make them work as hard as you possibly can. Oh, of here's course, a tech man. chase. Oh, 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 gets the oh, read. Oh, up, down and up smash it. Oh, and Marco 64. Mark. Oh, Polo. Yeah, I see. Yeah. That was the combo. That was good. <laughs> he did double down air. Yeah. Double down air into up smash. That was good. Hi, right, Marco. Okay. Good crash cancel. Oh, oh, okay. Good air dodge there. Marco able to, yeah, he tried to throw out a move. It looked like it, it could have been another down, like the startup maybe, or jab uh -huh. or tilt or something, but up smash just raw beats it. Man, Marco going for these hard reads with that up smash. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be it. Wow. Marco with some, some little moments, in particular one little moment that was actually very sick. Yeah. But it takes more than one little moment to beat a player like SFAT.